So we just finished reviewing the uh, Weinstefan from uh, from Germany, the world's oldest brewery, and it got the beer brackets perfect beer rating. Not only the first wheat beer that we've reviewed, but the first wheat beer to make it into the beer brackets perfect beer, esteemed beer brackets perfect beer hall of fame. Alessandro, what do you know about wheat beers? Because these haven't come up on the channel yet. So this is a huge category of beer that we haven't talked about at all. So if we're going to be giving people a basic introduction to what is a wheat beer and what do they need to know about it that differentiates it from different styles, what would you tell them? Well, um, the first thing to know, obviously, it, it's called wheat beer because it has wheat in it. But let's get into a little bit more details about that. Like we, So when we talk about beer in general, uh, mm -hmm. you're normally thinking about something that has been brewed using uh, barley as a malt uh, base grain, uh, then you have your water, obviously, you have your yeast, and you have your hops. When it comes down to wheat beer, uh, you are substituting part of that barley. It's not all of the barley, just part of it. Usually mm -hmm. at least 50% and up to 60% with wheat, malted wheat. So it follows instead of using the you know barley grains, you get the wheat grains like you germinate them, then you kill them, yeah. then you mash them, you do your malt, and then, and then you ferment them. What is important about it is that normally you tend to use ale yeast, uh, not lager yeast, to uh, ferment those. And another important thing is that the wheat, obviously being a different grain, it has a slightly different character compared to barley. So uh, one of the things is that it produces a very characteristic creaminess because of the starches uh, that uh, are different in that type of grain. It produces a way heavier uh, head in the beer because uh, that, that uh, protein structure traps the CO2 way more. Another interesting thing is that uh, when it comes to the process itself uh, in within the brewery, that changes also a little bit because the malt is different. So it needs to be treated slightly different in the, in the process itself. So what about it? I think one common aroma I taste that you get from wheat beers, and one that we described in a lot of detail in this review is banana. So do you know, like, what is it specifically? And this actually came up in one of our episodes before, but maybe we can dive into it a little bit more. What gives wheat beers that banana aroma and flavor? A good question. And it comes specifically, it's, it's an ester. I don't remember the, the, the chemical compound that produces it, the name, the technical name, but it's produced from the as a byproduct from the yeast that is used uh, when it's fermenting the, uh, the wheat and the barley. It produces this compound that is perceived as banana. Some people perceive it as bubblegum, vanilla too. Uh, but another characteristic also in wheat beer, specifically German style, is that Bavarian style, to be precise, Mm -hmm. is that phenolic character that you pick up as a clove that again comes yeah. from uh, as a byproduct of the fermentation of the yeast that is used and that's also another thing that is perceived as a clove character so those are characteristic and specific to to wheat beers so on the label here you know we have this style name that we see quite often so hefe vice beer so what does this refer to what does this mean Another great question. So Hefe <laughs> in German is uh, yeast. Okay. And Weiss, beer, so beer obviously, uh, beer simply. Weiss means white, which is the, the root of the word wheat. Uh, mm -hmm. So white. Uh, and you will see it sometimes also uh, as Weissen. Weissen actually means wheat. So th these can sometimes be a little bit inter interchangeable. Uh, mm -hmm. But it, uh, that's that's all that deconstructed uh, long word that you sometimes see on menus and in yeah. bottles is. So white beer brewed with yeast, uh, and uh, sometimes it's referred to also as uh, you know bison. So, uh, bison, so yeah. that's that's all that means. Well, there you go. There you go. We learned a lot about wheat beer today.